Now, our chief foreign editor, Rob Parsons, joins us now. Rob, apologies. I thought you were looking at the situation in Burma today, but you're, you, you have been um, examining what's going to happen uh, in Washington later. Some similarities, clearly, uh, but some clear, significant differences this time round in terms of the House of Representatives uh, procedure and the Senate procedure. Tell us more about that. Yeah, there is clearly a little bit of deja vu about this, since it is the second impeachment of Donald Trump in little over one year. There, there are similarities, you know, the, the same bunch of characters to a large extent. Many of the senators are the same. Obviously, the chief protagonist, Donald Trump, is, is the same. And like last time, he's not going to be present himself for the hearings. But that said, there are significant uh, differences as well. And the first and probably the most important, uh, especially for the potential outcome of the trial, is the fact that Donald Trump is no longer the president. And because he's no longer the president, uh, the man presiding over the trial uh, is going to be different as well. Last time round, it was the Chief Justice, John Roberts. But because we're not dealing with a standing president, but an ex president this time, uh, it's going to be uh, the senior uh, Democratic senator uh, who's going to be presiding over the proceedings this time round. But, you know, the, the, I, I suppose the, 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 the really big, big factors, though, are going to be the, 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 the actual nature of the evidence. L last time round, uh, an awful lot of time was spent uh, going through te telephone conversations, uh, eyewitnesses, accounts of telephone conversations, uh, following a paper trail, essentially, as to whether or not Donald Trump did put pressure on the Ukrainian president to dig up dirt uh, on Joe Biden. Uh, this was before he became uh, president, obviously. This time round, uh, the, 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 the crime scene uh, is the Senate itself. That's where it all happened. Uh, uh, and it's much more dramatic because many of the senators, if not the vast majority of the senators, were witness to what happened uh, and were themselves, in many cases, uh, highly traumatized by what happened. Uh, so this is going to be probably a much faster and much more dramatic uh, impeachment, uh, impeachment than the last one. The theatrics will be pretty, pretty interesting, I'm sure, and it's really a case of truth being stranger than fiction here. But the outcome, uh, Rob, when all of the s sound and fury dies down, yeah. it, it's not really in doubt, is it? Yeah, I mean, when, when all's said and done, it all comes down to the numbers. Uh, and uh, as you know, it's uh, the senator split 50-50 with one casting vote for the vice president, uh, which is not enough because to, to get a conviction, you need a two-thirds majority in the Senate. Uh, and that leaves the Democrats, assuming they all vote in favor of convicting Donald Trump, uh, 17 votes short. Uh, now, we know that some uh, Republicans are likely to vote in favor, but most likely uh, far short of the number needed uh, to get a conviction. Uh, which is not to say that this uh, th th this trial will be without significance or importance or drama. It's clearly going to have plenty of that. Uh, the, the, the Democrats uh, are going to be present presenting a lot of video and audio evidence, much of it not seen or heard before. Uh, and as I was saying earlier on, for those uh, people in the Senate there who were there, they were the, the witnesses to what happened. So it's going to be traumatic, dramatic, uh, and perhaps minds can still be swung one way or another. And it's also worth bearing in mind that an important point about this is that the, the, the Democrats are playing for the future here as well. They're playing before the court of public opinion in the United States. Uh, and at the moment, the most recent poll shows 56 percent of Americans are in favor of convicting Donald Trump and making sure he never runs for office again. Republicans have to bear that in mind. OK, Rob Parsons, all eyes on uh, Capitol Hill again uh, later, la later uh, today. Thank you for that.